What's up guys, Zach here at Kachaku CrossFit with your Friday, May 1st workout. We got a fun one today, a little strength to warm up and then a partner option for the workout today. Uh, starting with number one on the board, our format is we'll look inside of an every three minutes for four round rotation. Our movements inside of these three minutes are, we'll go through five to 10 strict presses into eight to 12 push presses, finish with 10 to 15 reps of an inverted row. Well, let's look at the movements a little bit further and the way they're supposed to be done. So for the strict press, dumbbells or barbells work for this motion. The goal is I want you to find a top end set, maybe where you don't quite hit failure, but you get pretty daggone close to it. Then immediately add in your leg drive and begin to push press your load overhead. Okay, rather it's barbell or dumbbell, you will fatigue through the strict press, add in the leg drive, carry on and finish another set into your push presses. Set down your, your prop, barbell or dumbbells, shake it out for a second, make your way to an inverted row, I like the barbell for this personally, straighter legs if you have it, you're welcome to bend your knees through it to modify slightly, or any other style of uh, inverted or ring rowing option works for this as well. If you guys don't have access to that, pull-ups are a great sub for this, or even a barbell or dumbbell bent over row works as well. Looking at our workouts, let's go through the partner option first. It's an 18 minute AMRAP to be done with a partner. Our movements and reps, we have seven burpees, 14 alternating dumbbell snatches, 12 kettlebell swings, seven pull-ups, nine wall balls. The format for this is meant to be, we're gonna alternate movements each round. So it's an I go, you go per movement, meaning partner A will do the seven burpees, partner B will do the dumbbell snatches. Partner A will kettlebell swing, partner B will pull up, partner A will wall ball. Moving into the second round, the second person or the next person will begin on the burpee. So you'll switch movements every round through for 18 minutes time, okay? If you're working out solo today, that works as well. And we came up with a craftier format to still give you some intensity with a little bit of rest behind it. The format for the solo option involves the same motions, uh, but a little bit different spin on the, on the format. So we're gonna move inside of an every two minute block for four rounds of work today. The first interval has three movements. We have five burpees, 10 wall balls, 15 kettlebell swings. Second interval is seven pull-ups, 14 dumbbell snatches. This is meant to be, you complete the work inside of that two minute time period, rest the remainder of the time, and or that would, that would simulate your partner taking on the work. So you got a fair amount of time there, end up probably with 30 or 45 seconds. If you guys are sprinting through it, you feel free to shorten your rest interval, but we'll go through four total rounds of work, which equals 16 minutes on the clock. Uh, quick movement subs, wall ball, stick with your standard dumbbell squat to press, any level of air squatting pattern works for this. Pull ups, we can revisit our inverted row or ring row. Uh, and for the dumbbell snatch, I think that's gonna be the big one for us. You guys are welcome to use a barbell for this. Use a movable weight, I'll, I'll throw out like a 95-ish, 65 uh, pound range on just a standard power snatch, but we're gonna look at seven repetitions instead of 14. To finish your day, number three on the board is our core. I want everybody to tune in and follow the Ab Blitz workout on our YouTube channel. Follow the instructions on the reps. Be conservative with, when you guys start with it. Have fun with it. I'll talk to you next week.